Now let's take some time to talk about how to add excrescence to your parasite drag analysis in OpenVSP. Now excrescence is a handy way of adding these realistic pieces of an aircraft into your drag buildup. So things like hatches and access panels and doors and windows, antennas and surface roughness and bugs and, and stuff like that, ice. You can add those things as excrescence drag rather than trying to physically model them somehow with a component, which could either be very difficult or even impossible to do in OpenVSP. Excrescence is one of those handy ways to account for the real-worldness of this aircraft without affecting the outer mold line. So let's take a look at a few ways that we can do that. Here in the type drop-down menu, we have drag counts or drag coefficient, a percent of the geometric drag coefficient or percent margin, and finally drag area. And so let's start by comparing drag counts and drag coefficients. So we'll add this excrescence. In this case, sure, let's add 10 drag counts. And notice that this is basically 10,000 times a drag coefficient value. And so here you can see that that component is right there. Alternatively, we can add drag coefficient. And it's really just the same thing. 0 0.001, we'll make those equivalent just for fun. And so you can see that the relationship between the units of a drag count is 10,000 times whatever chunk of drag coefficient you want to add to your model. Pretty simple. So we'll drag those back to zero so that it doesn't affect what we're going to do next, which is start to add some percentage into this. So we'll start off by adding a couple of percent geometric drag coefficient and then margin and take a look at what the difference is. So in the geometric percentage, let's add 10%. Uh, and so you can see that now we've got our geometric value and 10% of that is now this excrescence that's accounted for here as excrescence two. The second one, let's do the same thing. Let's add another 10% of the geometric value. And so each of these are 4.4 drag counts or 10% of this 44 drag count total that we have for the geometry itself. And so it's slowly building up now, margin, on the other hand, is quite different. If we add 10% margin, what this is, is adding a 10% of the total. And so this is going to scale on top of whatever the total value is. And so you can see here that if we have our total breakdown, regardless of how we adjust this other stuff, the margin is always going to be 10% of the total itself. And so that's an important distinction between percent of geometric and percent margin. And so let's go ahead and add one more, and this is drag area. Now drag area has a maximum of 10, which is a ridiculously large value that we don't really need. Let's put this at something like 0.01. And when we're dealing with uh, an extra little bit of drag area, what we're really adding here is this flat plate drag area. And so the nice thing is that because we've added this as a constant value, if we were to come into our flow conditions, for example, and start changing our V infinity, which is basically changing our Q, notice that that flat plate drag area there is remaining constant. And so this is independent of your free stream speed. And so if you want an extra chunk added onto that, that's how you do it. And it's right there. And so that's a variety of ways that you can add excrescence drag to account for real-world effects and real-world drag sources in your parasite drag model in OpenVSP.